The Toleration Party had no presidential or vice presidential candidates as they were focused on Connecticut politics. Democratic Republican Caucus for President Andrew Jackson received one vote. John Quincy Adams and Henry Clay received two votes. William H. Crawford received 64 votes. Vice President John Todd, Samuel Smith, Richard Rush, William Loundins, William Rufus King, William Eustace, and John Quincy Adams all received one vote. Aristus Root received two votes. Albert Gallatin received 57 votes. The Congressional Caucus nominated William H. Crawford for president and Albert Gallatin for vice president. Gallatin had not sought the nomination and soon withdrew. Democratic Republican William H. Crawford received 40,856 popular votes. Democratic Republican Henry Clay received 47,531 popular votes. Democratic Republican John Quincy Adams received 113,122 popular votes. Democratic Republican Andrew Jackson received 151,271 popular votes. From the 24 states, 131 electoral votes were needed for both elections. For the vice presidential candidates, Henry Clay received two electoral votes, Martin Van Berg received nine electoral votes, Andrew Jackson received 13 electoral votes, Nathaniel McCann received 24 electoral votes, Nathan Sanford received 30 electoral votes, and John C. Calhoun received 182 electoral votes for vice president. For presidential electoral vote, Henry Clay received 37 electoral votes, William H. Crawford received 41 electoral votes, John Quincy Adams received 84 electoral votes, and Andrew Jackson received 99 electoral votes for president, declaring nobody the winner, as they needed 131 electoral votes to win. As no presidential candidate had won an absolute electoral vote majority, the responsibility for electing a new president devolved upon the United States House of Representatives which held a contingent election on February 9, 1825, the first of its kind. As prescribed by the 12th Amendment, the House was limited to choosing from among the three candidates who received the most electoral votes, that being Andrew Jackson, John Quincy Adams, and William Crawford. There were 24 states at the time, and each state delegation had one vote. Thus, an absolute majority of 13 votes was required for victory. William H. Crawford received four votes, Andrew Jackson received 7 votes, and John Quincy Adams was elected president with 13 votes.